You may still be riding high from the excitement of this week's CMA Awards. I know I am. So have you ever wondered if being on stage like that could actually become a reality? Well, founder and president of Now Hear This, Bruce Borzniak, is here to tell us if it is a realistic for up-and-coming performers to be successful. Good morning. Good morning. It's been fascinating. We've been chatting a lot here before this segment. And uh, talk about first, because this is your passion, a kind of helping artists kind of, you know, make their way to the surface when there's so many many these days Absolutely. and you have a podcast that's really taken off because you yes. kind of help people too right yes that's been very enjoyable every week for two and a half years now more than two and a half mm -hmm. years I've done a podcast where I'm interviewing people who are having success in the entertainment business but in a way that we ask the obvious questions let them promote but yeah. also to draw lessons out of them because there are so many people that are so talented that are trying to get ahead and get the edge and say well, what are the tips that I can learn so that I can get my song placed in film and television or I can fund my next album with a crowdfunding campaign, or I can get booked at better, better venues. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting to hear these stories, but to also know that people are listening every week to say, I'm going to take the next yeah. step in my career. Well, and people like kind of pulling back the curtain and finding out how things worked and how they got. Very much for, so. You know, we were talking, I watched the CMAs uh, this week. Maren Morris, she got up, accepted her award and said, listen, just last year, I was watching at a bar across the street, the CMA Awards. And here she was not only performing, but then she won an award. So what is the secret to success, do you think, in today's <laughs> culture? Because it's changed than what it was 15 20 years so much has ago. changed over the years the industry is so different now if I knew what the secret know, was right? by the way yeah but uh, you know so much has changed that one thing that has not changed is it still boils down to good old-fashioned drive and hard work because a lot of people have the talent but they don't realize and understand how much time and hard work they really have mm -hmm. to put in. Some of it, you know, is being in the right place at the right time. Obviously, if you're in L.A., New York, or Nashville, maybe Las Vegas, you're going to get discovered maybe a little faster. But people are being discovered online through things like YouTube, through things like SoundCloud, things like Reverb Nation. There's a lot of different platforms out there now. What are your favorite ones? What do you recommend people do? You rec If someone is, you know, if the, there's parents watching this morning that has a teenager or a high school student, do you say upload videos, go ahead and do it to YouTube, or what are your favorite YouTube, ones, what do you but suggest? The, the thing with YouTube, people don't realize, is it's actually the second biggest search engine in the world, second only to Google, and it's no surprise yeah. since Google owns YouTube, but absolutely to upload to YouTube and some of these others, but there's even platforms out there where you can just sit and perform at home and broadcast it, and I'm not even talking about Facebook Live, but that's another tool that musicians are using yeah. to their advantage, but things like ConcertWindow.com, StageIt.com, these are platforms that you can use to, again, touch people who are nowhere near your local area, but someone may see you who otherwise wouldn't if you didn't put yourself out there online. Too many people get so focused on making their songs so perfect, songwriters I'm mm -hmm. talking about. They spend all this time and they never come out of their house, they never go play the songs out anywhere, yeah. or they don't want to put them out. There's a fear, a lot of people, I don't want to have my songs stolen. Well, that's what copywriting is for. But if you just keep those songs to yourself forever, no one's ever going to hear them, no matter right, how yeah. much time you spent perfecting it. Huh. So fascinating. Well, what is what is your advice, kind of your, your take home for, again, everyone is chasing this dream of I want to be on the CMAs or, you know, what the American Music Awards coming up as well. Yeah. What do you tell families um, kind of as they, they start this journey? Well, to families, my advice is a little bit different from the people who are moved out and established and maybe they're in their late 20s, et cetera, because the families will love on their children and will support them and will encourage them to do everything they can. But at some point, you need to get an uninterested third party to really step in that knows the music business, not, you know, well, dad's a realtor, but he loves his daughter, so he helps her out. Well, what does he know about promoting or yeah. about entertainment? So, of course, they're going to encourage their children but get them into competitions where there are judges who know the business, not judges who are sponsors that are telling everyone, you look lovely, you sounded great, but some helpful advice, some helpful criticism, and the more that they can get out there and get the reps, the better off they'll be because doing it at home in front of mom and dad isn't going to get him anywhere. They need to be out. There's so many open mics. 
that you can go mm -hmm. to. There's so many opportunities online, as we said, that it really is to put in the time and it's not too early to start. Yeah. I know a 14 year old that's tremendously talented in this area and she's only 14, but she's gonna have a bright future ahead of her because of her talent and because I can tell she's willing yeah. to put in the time. I could talk to you all day. If people wanna find your podcast, where do you tell them? NHTE.net, it stands for Now Hear This Entertainment, NHTE.net, and there's links there to get it from iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher Radio, and SoundCloud. All right, sounds good. We'll hopefully can get you to bring in some of these artists on our show if you got someone up and coming. Great. Thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. it.